and uh, it can't get intelligence, even out of the Prime Minister's office. I had intelligence in October that this was going to happen. However, I further got intelligence that they put it off because they thought if they had made the pronouncement at that time, a, party, a particular political party in Jamaica may not have won the election. So it was, I, I, I know it was coming even before it was, I, so I wasn't caught off guard. A matter of fact, I was going to go public with it, but because I did not have and was very sure that this would have been a public pronouncement by them at this time, I just kept quiet and not having full evidence because intelligence, as you know, is not evidence. But the primary charges against me, or the primary charge against me, right, is breach of human rights. They, they use they use a phrase. Um, where is it? They use a phrase "gross human rights violations," okay. which you would have so seen. You, which you would have you seen, have right? Your, as you have said to your people, we went before the highest court of the land, the Supreme Court in Jamaica, tried by the Chief Justice and twelve jurors. The case was investigated by Scotland Yard, according to them one of the best in the world, cannot be corrupt. We were not able to infiltrate them to instigate any form of miscarriage of justice as it relates to investigating. But I just want to general say to the Jamaican people, and they know the phrase, a droning man catch it at the straw to save his life at the time of death. So what is that analogy related to? Let me finish, please. A dying mule kicked the hottest at the time of his death. History has shown that a dying empire becomes more brutal and sophisticated in its injustices over the world at, at its sure demise. Question again? You're saying that to say what? I'm going to tell you that let me make the observation now and then you can ask, you can ask me anything else. I know, but anything we're going to run out of time by the time you're done. Tell me about dying empires. Time, back another day because, <laughs> you know, who Go. was it that killed thousands of people in Vietnam? I'm going to be quick. Who was it that killed innocent people in Korea in the 50s? Iraq? Okay, okay, I, I, I'm going to stop you here. I am going to stop you because I, what I understand you to be doing is, is looking through the arc of history no, and I'm looking asking at... You, asking you to say no, 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 man, hold on, hold on. I'm asking you to say who has committed human rights No, breaches? man, no, man, we're not doing a, we're not doing a world affairs debate right, here. We stop, stop the interview right away. No, man, we're not doing a world affairs interview be, I, discussion. Right, here, here, hear me, Mr. Adams. Hear me, Mr. Adams. It is, I, I think there have been what many... Be, miss, miss, just give me a chance, you know. Who was it that killed the Iranian general? In this no, but, but you're, you're, you're taking us away from the point. What you're what doing... Killed, no, what you are who doing... Is breach, who is breaching human rights? What you are doing is saying the United States is doing X... What you are doing is saying the United States is doing X and Y and Z. And you may very well be correct. You may be very well correct in relation to in relation to the saying about me to semi kill people. Yeah, but let's so let's talk about that. Then that's what I'm talking about. No man, you're talking about Korea and Vietnam and all kind of things. Yes. And I will continue and you can hang it up when you're ready. No man, I'm not hang up on you. And I'm not I'm not hanging up on you. I just trying to I'm just trying to focus you on, on the particular people in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Mr. Adams. Mr. Adams. Mr. Adams. Who is it that drove Mr. Adams. in the world and killed people? Mr. Adams. Without they being tried. Many people agree with your assessment of the United States. However, oh, what we're talking about right now is the United is the State's Department designation of you. Let me talk about me. Did I imprison people in Guantanamo Bay the twenty No you're not talking about you. You're still you know you're talking about Guantanamo Bay. Okay. 
Kom, me kunne ikke sammen. Me kunne ikke sammen. Miss Adams. Miss Adams. Miss Adams. Is your is your argue is your argument is your argument, Mr. Adams? You've made your Miss Adams. You've made your point. You know. So having yeah, made that point, no, because but because by the time you finish, we will literally have have reached nowhere. You know that when you call me to Adams, I'm not here to back up anybody and protect America. I'm not afraid of them. Who are they? I, nobody's asking you to do that. But what we are doing is a Who is an what we are what no 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 hold on no man this is not a monologue this is not a soapbox. Okay. All right. So Who having is it. Is it that your is it is it is it that you are saying you do not believe the United States is in any position to designate you or anybody else based on their history? You are perfectly right. But okay. to make Jamaican people know No man, you've 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 made your point. So having said that the press don't educate Jamaican people about history, no. Having said that, do you having said that, looking back and as we as I said and as you said, there were um acquittals, everyone charged in connection with the crawl killings where everyone was found not guilty. Having said that, though, looking back at the events of May 7, 2003, do you believe there was anything that was done that was incorrect? Not at all, ma'am. And the Supreme Court has, and the jury, and the jurors all have come to the conclusion that we were acting within the ambit of the law and the Constitution. Well... The jurors... If I am accused of breaching human rights, then obviously there must be evidence. Where is the evidence? A lot of evidence. A lot of lunatics in Jamaica, you know, backing up the State Department when they made their, their, these, 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 these derogatory statements against decent citizens over the world. Have you, have you ever heard the, the phrase a perverse verdict? I hear about all kind of verdict, ma'am. So what point are you trying to make? No, I'm asking you, have you ever heard that particular phrase, perverse uh, verdict? I know about perverse ber- verdict, ma'am. And I know about jury verdict, too. So, I know about jo- double jeopardy, because what they have put me in now is put me in the class where I can claim double, double jeopardy. Well, no. No, what they're doing, what they're doing has nothing to do with the Jamaican judicial and, and legal process. So double jeopardy doesn't so, apply. So, so the only world that, the only, the only laws that count in Jamaica are those of the failing empire, the United States of America. No, I'm, so I'm correcting, I'm thing. correcting you and saying double jeopardy does not apply. Double jeopardy says that you cannot be charged for and the same a, offense once united, once acquitted it's a united international norm we are an individual should not be charged for the same offense for which he or she has already been charged and acquitted by a court of law but you are not you are not you are not being charged again therefore double jeopardy does not engage it is possible. So it is possible. So it I is am being punished now, my family and I, for something I have not done. It is possible in, mm-hmm. in, a, in, a, in, a, in a case in law. A case might go to a court and the burden new be... Evidence, yes, new evidence come up, I have no problem. Miss Adams, do. Let me at least finish a sentence now. No, but you see... What do you mean, no? What do you mean, no? I'm not what I say. You're not to obstruct me when I'm making a statement to. I am not, obs- I am not obstructing you. I'm correcting you if you are saying that. In a double jeopardy, any over the world. And I am yeah, saying to you, this is not, I'm saying to you, this is not double jeopardy, which is why I was well, going on. I will not be convinced, ma'am. So if you want to move on, you move on. Please. That's okay. You don't have to be convinced. I'm, I'm stating a, a no, matter I'm of, you I'm stating a matter of legal fact. Scenario, I'm stating right. a legal fact. You don't, you're not obliged to accept it, but it stands as a matter of legal fact nonetheless. Yeah, but you are not correct. What do you mean, I am not correct? You can be charged if new evidence come up. 
you can be charged for the same offense. In, not, not in Jamaica, it sir. Not, it would not, not, not in Jamaica. Oh, God. Amendments have been made to the law to that effect, to that effect in the United Kingdom. Yes. When you're talking about United Kingdom, I am talking about the world. Anyway, as I was saying, as, as, I was, as I was saying, Mr. Adams, do you accept, though, do you accept that there can be a situation where a person is found not guilty in a court because the, the jury does not feel that the prosecution has met its burden? Yes. But concerns remain nevertheless about a sequence of events. Well, I would never like to live in a world along with you, my lady. We are after a court of any land, whether it's in America, England, America, and so on. A few lunatics get together and say, among ourselves, that although the court says that, we within ourselves can say, the man or the woman is still culpable. I will not live in a world, Miss Jackson, with you and those people. I, I don't understand. I don't understand what you're saying. That's not simple. No. In a court of law, you quit somebody over the world. Yes, what it means. Any offense. And you know when sit in your house, in King's house, or Queen's house, and say, although the Supreme Court of the land has acquitted a person, we within ourselves, with our elitism and our imperialism, that the person is still guilty. We feel he's still guilty. So we go ahead. We go and meet out the punishment that is we feel that is required. So you feel as if you're being you feel that this is the effect of trying you a second time, putting you that on trial a second time? That is it, ma'am. And not only a trial at a time, the presumption I am not given the presumption of innocence. And no evidence is being put against me, no. So these people who are accusing me of breaching human rights. They are breaching man right now. Also, I'm being accused of something that there's no evidence. It was trashed out in a court of law in Jamaica, a sovereign nation with a system older than that of the Jamaica, of the United States, where the judiciary is concerned. We have a judiciary of over 500 years old. America is just two or 300 years old. And that is the same judiciary we have that has acquitted me so your, your concern here then is that you don't, there is no avenue for you to respond to whatever the allegations are? Uh, no, I am responding. This is what I'm responding. I, but I don't think it's any credit, any, 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 any credence. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I missed a bit of that. You're responding, but what? I am not paying any credence to this observation. You mean to their, their, their public designation? Uh, yes. Right? What, what do you mean by that? Because at, on the one hand, you told me how you, you're there on your nice green farm, and I mean, painted the picture of all the wonderful things growing, but at the same time, you sound grieved, Mr. Adams. No, I'm grieved because you try to, 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 you are trying to, 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 like you're backing up America in this slackness. Me, all I do is ask questions, Mr. Adams. All right, so I apologize for that, but I'm saying to you, these people have gone to a court of law. And I just give you a historical perspective. That is older. Our court system and our justice system is older than the founding of the United States itself. Do you and they have acquitted me. Say there is no evidence. And what these lunatics have done is to come together and create in the minds of the world that I have breached human rights and then I'm being punished for it with my family and extended family. Do you have any idea what triggered this? Because you say you got intelligence that this was coming. Geo geopolitics. And uh, let me tell you, don't stop here, you know. Jamaica gone again, I said, 20 years ago, going to pay dearly because of our friendship with China. Do you think there should be a response from the Jamaican government to this? There should be a response from the Jamaican government. Saying what? That you cannot use one of your citizens in an accusatory way like this without supplying evidence. 
Well, a citizen who has gone through the court system, a case that was investigated by them, America and Canada, they and say, United Kingdom. They say they have information, Mr. Adams. Oh, God, information is anything. I can have information that my wife is seeing a man tonight. It doesn't necessarily mean it's true. They say they have credible information. Credible? What's does, credible? does that raise concerns oh, for you? Uh, no, that which is credible must be able to stand up in a court of law or any any really justifiable um, 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 tribunal. You can't just come and accuse people. And you, and you Except, don't accuse. You apply punishment. What you, you what you... I'm going all over the world now. All over the world or to the United States, not to the United no, but States. You know the world is, madam. If I'm going to say China tomorrow, it's likely that a country who is a puppet of the United States, I may have to go through that country, and they don't allow me to to land there. So you can you you concerned then, if I understand you, as to how this affects your 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 ability to deal with the rest, to conduct your business, and to deal with the rest of the world. Of course, but I draw their concern, you know, they can't hurt me. I'm not hurt. I'm just ex making an explanation and expose the great Satan they are. You kind of sound hurt, though. I'm not hurt. You're just angry. I'm not angry, either. You're not angry. You, you were, were, in the beginning, was trying to obfuscate and to, to obstruct me and to... To, to mm, no, Mr. Adams, I'm merely conducting an interview and not letting you to, and not letting you take take over the program. That's all. Journalists, you must put 100% on the negative side and 100% on the positive side. All right, I appreciate I I, I, I appreciate your tutoring me, but yes. but but let let's come back to crawl for a minute here because you sat there for the the weeks that that this took. Uh, a lot of a lot of evidence was in fact put forward before the court, right? Yes. As you said, so-called as evidence. So-called evidence. why is that so-called evidence? Because if there is evidence, we would have been acquitted. No, that doesn't follow. <laughs> so why don't you cut out the court system? No, man, you're going all over the place. No, no, you're going all over the place. All I'm, all, no, man, no, man. All I'm doing is, is, no, Mr. Adams. All, all I am doing is connecting the dots. So I am saying evidence. I am saying. And let me tell you something. That which is credible must be able to withstand a court of law or any democratic tribunal anywhere over the world. What do you mean? What do you mean? No man, I'm listening to every word that you're saying. But well, I'm but I'm saying to you as an experienced police officer, right? Because you 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 you've had you've had years of experience in the force. Yes. Right? Jamaica looked up to you. There were some people who believed a lot of people who believe you should have been police commissioner. Yes. You know that. So, I hear them say that. Even today, you look on the, you look on the, you look on where you're calling. So, the, the social media, them. Yes. What they are saying, what they're calling this great empire. Yes. So, as a, so, so as somebody with all that experience, you know that there are sometimes that evidence is presented in court, and the jury decides that they're going to acquit. Is not that true? Of course, evidence is given in court and the jury, I, I, as far as I'm taught and I, and I have learned and I experienced, they acquit because there's not sufficient evidence at all or the evidence is not credible. Sometimes. And the Constitution say if a credible case has not been made, then the benefit of the doubt must be given to those that have been accused. Correct. Correct that that um, if if the jury is not the, the language we use in Jamaica is sure you know reasonable doubt listeners would have heard juries are told if you don't feel sure you have to acquit right yeah. but you also have situations as which is why I asked you earlier if you had heard the phrase perverse verdict which I'm sure you would have as somebody with so much experience in the system. So you I, do have situations that can have, exist. The same thing you you call, do have situations. The same thing we call, you do have situations that can exist where evidence, where evidence, 
where because evidence where evidence is presented and a jury decides to to acquit nonetheless you in so your year in your years and your experience is the evidence is true that i may have killed a man lately how can the jury acquit me what do you mean how if the evidence is true that i killed somebody yes. and the jury have that evidence and is satisfied that i did kill somebody how can they acquit me unless you go and say that jury is corrupt and the court is corrupt and the chief justice was corrupt no, corruption is not the only reason you, you get perverse verdicts. A jury may simply decide that me no business one who wants them and not finding this person guilty. Well, why do you take this subjective view, my dear? You're going subjective. I'm taking, I'm taking no view. I'm, I'm merely asking you some well, questions. The observation there must be a view. No, that's not an observation. Well, I will draw that, but I'm saying you have been, you are going subjectively, no? So, in rela- before I run out of time, in relation to... Um, the the question we asked of the U.S. Department in terms of the inclusion of their of the family members, and they said that's normal in this kind of situation. Does that strike you as particularly unfair? Uh, can you kind that for me again, no, please? Does it seem to you particularly unfair that apart from the the the, the designation that affects you and the people who are actually involved, the, yes. the police? that they said they're affecting your, your, your family members as well? Yes, it's highly unfair because you are, you are subjecting me you now to ridicule and disdain and, and probably abuse and insult based on something that has not happened and I have not committed any breach of human, anybody rights so you categorically reject this, this, these assertions by the U.S. government? I want to categorically reject what the great Satan has said about me, Renato Adams, about breaching human rights. 